Right then guys, welcome back to Toka Race Driver, the final two races now in the Southern European Challenge. We have Catalonia and Dijon for the final two races. Where are we starting? Oh, all the way in 10th. Uh, Isabel Rodriguez is on pole. And of course Ryan Bitchditz McCain is sat there just having a pep talk with one of his crewmates. Probably asking why, if he's the best race driver in this game, why hasn't he ever had a pole position? Yes, Ryan, I'm wondering the same thing. Anyway, let's get on with race at number five. Right then, full throttle, lights are on, and we're underway. At least this uh, race will be over fairly quick. Oh no, actually it's three laps this time. It was two laps yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, uh, when was it? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, I keep forgetting. Alright, let's see if we can actually win this time. That'll be quite nice. Ooh. I don't know, this game... This, this game is a bit like Marmite, I suppose. You either love it, love it or you hate it. Or a bit like Pineapple Pizza. Oh, and there's a big crash as well, fantastic. Whoa, and another one! <laughs> Wow, okay, I've never seen two cars roll and one almost roll. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, well, it's funny, I mentioned pineapple pizza and then everyone starts crashing. Maybe they don't like it either. Um, I like pineapple pizza, but I've got to be in the mood for it. You know, it's like some food, just like... You you only enjoy it if you really feel like you're in the mood for it. I'm, I'm like that with pineapple pizza. I wouldn't eat it all the time. Because sometimes it just makes me feel sick, even just thinking about it, but... Yeah, now and again, I, I'm like, oh yeah, I could devour a, a good old pineapple pizza. Or, uh... <clears throat> what was it called? Um, I was going to say a farmhouse, but no, that's ham and mushroom. Uh, but no, you get like a ham and pineapple pizza, which is quite nice. But after a while, it does get a bit bland. But yeah, so that is this principle of this game, really. It's, it is like... Marmite or pineapple pizza. People either love it or hate it. Me, I'm sort of like 50 50. I don't know. This game is great, but it's it's not perfect by a long shot, by a country mile. But oh well. Let's have a discussion. All people in comments, do you like uh, pineapple pizza or do you hate pineapple pizza? I don't know. See if we can have a, a political debate on uh, pizza. That would be cool. Oh, I'm catching up to these. I, I thought I would have had a bit of trouble catching up to these guys, but no, it seems to be uh, going fairly well. Yes, we are in the points. Very good work indeed. And we're in his draft as well. Break. Oh. Okay, that works, kind of. You know, I've said this before, but I mean, that's the reason why I like doing these videos, or, or just making videos in general, is not only to hear people's feedback, but, you know, to have conversations in the comment section. Because, you know, social socialization is dead these days. Because of technology, you know, smartphones, this, that, and the other, people don't talk these days. You see it on the bus, if you go into town on the bus or something, and everyone has just got their face in their phones, and no one talks to each other anymore. And it really sucks. Like back in the olden days, you used to have pen pals, and and then it was emails, and now it's, it's literally smartphones, and it's apps like Instagram and Snapchat and all that. I don't use anything like that at all. But more people need to talk to each other. But that's just me. I'm because I'm old. 
Back in my day, we didn't have smartphones. In fact, we didn't have mobile phones at all back in the early 90s. Well, y you did. I mean, mobile phones have been around since, like, the bloody 80s, and, you know, you needed a car battery to get them to work, and they were, like, the size of, you know, a desktop computer sort of thing. You literally needed a crane to hoist it up to your ear. And yeah, Squishy is still alive. He hasn't actually been vocal for a while, actually, because... Again, you know, I tried to make people happy, so... A few comments said that his squawking was getting annoying, so I cover him up during recordings, just to, you know, keep him quiet. But anyway, victory! Yay! Thank you, I appreciate that compliment. And here we go then, so we get the win, and uh, Beppe was in second, Rodriguez in third. Where does that put us in the point standings? 39 to 28. So we've won the championship, which is fan bloody tastic. Um, yeah, Rodriguez can only get up to 28, uh, 38 points, so we've literally won by a single point, which is great because we only needed the top three anyway. And Dijon, I do like this circuit. Uh, let's have a look where we're starting. We are da -ba -da -ba -da, in 8th place again. Ryan still hasn't got a pole position, stood there looking into outer space, wondering what he's having for tea and if he should wear his special bib. And lights are on! And we are underway. Oh, I did get a bit of wheel spin. Bloody hell. Warm the tires. Always helps. Again, three laps around Dijon, mustard. Speaking of food, I've done a, an experiment many years ago. Um, just, just completely by accident, really. Uh, but you know those Snickers ice cream bars that you buy? Really, really nice. Um, well, I... Oh, crap, how many years ago was this? Like, over ten years ago, I would think. But, um, I'd done an experiment. I just got some, you know, box standard, shop's own brand vanilla ice cream, you know, the cheap stuff. And I bought a bag of dry roasted peanuts. And, uh... I just stuck the peanuts in the ice cream, mixed it up, just let it settle for a little bit. And you know what? It tastes exactly the same as a Snickers ice cream bar, even because how the, the peanuts are roasted, it has a, a sort of like caramelized taste to it as well, so it actually does taste like the caramel you get in a, in a Snickers ice cream bar, which is really cool. So if you want to experiment, get some dry roasted peanuts, get some vanilla ice cream, stick them all in, you can, you know, mash them or, or grind them down or whatever. And uh, yeah, it should taste exactly the same as a Snickers ice cream bar. Oh no, I used to experiment a lot with food. Or it would just be really weird in general, like dipping my uh, McDonald's fries in a banana milkshake. Because why not? Or, or one thing I love to do, if I ever do go to McDonald's, which is very rare these days, because, you know, the quality of food has just gotten crap, and the lettuce is older than some of the staff that work in there, you know. But, if you buy, like, a milkshake, like a... I think it, it really works with banana milkshakes. Um, or even vanilla. But get, a, get one of the hot apple pies, get a banana milkshake, bite the top off the the uh, the pie and just squeeze the the apple and cinnamon or whatever into the milkshake, stir it around and uh, there you've got a, an apple cinnamon banana milkshake and it's really good obviously it's a bit of an, an annoyance when you get a bit of apple stuck in the straw and you're like using all your strength to try and suck up some of the uh, the milkshake but there you go these things were meant to try us Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to get a win this time. Looks like we're going to have to set off a third. Oh, 
slidey slidey there's my teammate behind he could have given us a better color really it's like a pastel I don't know palmer violet kind of thing and there's a crowd booing again oh well third place I don't think our crew are going to be happy with that. I've got to hand it to you, Ryan. You've actually impressed me. You've certainly got that McCain edge. Wow. Thank you for that incredible input. That boost of confidence was awesome. Anyway, point standings then. We get 43 to 30. 26, 13, 13, 12, 6, 6, 3, 2. And I'm guessing, oh, no one's got one point. So, yeah, 11 drivers managed to get points in the end. And there we go. Do you want to save the game? Yeah, why not? And there we go. That is it. And we get the next rival. Hello, Ryan. This is Isabella Rodriguez in Spain. I was wondering whether you were man enough to challenge me in my country. Sorry, love. Can you repeat your name? Rodriguez. What? Right, so that is every single rival event that we have unlocked. As you can see, we've only done three of them. We've got the the Cobra, we've got the Mini, and of course we've got the Charger. So now we have all of these to do. And you know what? I'm going to do them all now. Why the hell not? Because uh, I might as well. All these cars you unlock, and they are purposefully for the Elite Championship. So at the moment, if you went into the Elites, you would only have the Charger Mini and Cobra unlocked. So these all go towards the uh, the Elite Championship. But it doesn't really matter because Paul Craven is going to kick everyone's arse anyway with the Mini Cooper, which is completely and totally unfair. But there you go. Uh, so we'll start off with this one. Which is the uh, the good old uh, oh it's a it's a Toyota GT1 pretty much. So who are we racing against? I wonder. Hey McCain. Johnny Hawkins Jr. Right? You reckon you got what it takes, boy? I sure do. You won't sound so full of yourself when you're eating my dust. <laughs> yep. Gorsh. Okay. And. I remember this one was a bit of a pain in the arse, so you technically just have to stay in his draft if you don't will spin too much. Or uh, slide the car like that. Yeah, this one is gonna have to be restarted multiple times until you get the right uh, angle. Or if he just does that, that would help massively. Come on, get around. <clears throat> oh, I hate this. It's, it's got to the point where you lean your actual body when you're going around the corners because you think it's going to help you, and of course it doesn't. It's like when I was, uh, when I play racing games as a kid, you would turn your hands with the controller as if that will help you go around corners better. <clears throat> oh, my throat is uh, really playing up today. Oh, okay. I didn't hit anything, but apparently going on the apron, you smash into something? I don't know. Come on, get your arse back here, please. No, I don't think we're going to do it. He's actually pulling away a bit too much. Okay, so this actually wasn't too bad. This is only the second attempt. I managed to stay in his draft at the start. And, yeah, with some of these you have to play dirty, so I had to smash him into the wall, and he fell right back. Um, I've got an easy victory, so... Otherwise, it would have been impossible to keep up with him, as you've seen with the first attempt, but... There we go. We've won the car. Yep, indeedy, sir, indeedy. Uh, do you want to save the career game? Yes, please. So that is another one done. Now we have the... Uh... Oh, look at that. That's Isabel Rodriguez. That's the one we've just literally unlocked. 
So we'll quickly do that one. Thank you for accepting my challenge. That's fine. I just hope you're a challenge. Oh, I am a challenge. Believe in me. I'm a challenge. Oh, they suck at accents. They really do. But anyway, this one I remember also was a bit of a pain in the arse. Again, I'll have to play dirty. Not like that, nope. Okay, try again, restart. Now this one's only one lap. No, I will play dirty again. No, you bitch! You absolute total bitch. Come on, restart. She breaks to her, she knows what I'm doing. She knows my game. She knows what I'm playing at. Take three, third time's a charm. Right, will that work? Will it work? No. Because they can get out of the gravel trap really bloody easily. You stupid mare. And look at that. Look how quick she pulls away. That is ridiculous. I hate these challenges with an absolute passion. They are bloody awful. Now move to the left. There we go. I'll just try and get past her normally if I can. No, that's not going to work. Oh, get off. You get off, you... F oh, Christ's sake. Just look at the lead she's got. That's stupid. Oh, for goodness bloody sake. Ah, get lost, you bitch. Oh, no, don't lock the... Oh, finally! Hmm. I guess you'll be taking my car then. May it bring you all the luck it has brought me. But not when we race again. Oh god, that one was bloody awful. I hate that one so much. Okay, on to the next one. And let's save the game again. Right, we have... Ooh, speed 12. Well, well. The moment of truth. I guess. Let's race. The moment of truth. Uh, I can't remember if this one was bad or not. Uh, it is when I try and take him off. Come on, son of a bitch. Yeah, he's going to just speed rain druid, isn't he? Come on. Ah, missed him. Right, try again. See how long this lasts. Oh, don't lock the brakes. God damn numpty. Right on my chuff, look at that. Just tailgating me now. Sod off.
Christ, look at the acceleration they get out of the turns. It's bloody ridiculous. Oh, get off. Okay, then. So it is possible to win without taking them off. Oh. Ooh. Cool. Okay, so that's another one down. Do you want to save your game? It will come up and say, yes, I do, please. All right, we got five more to do. Well, Ryan, if you beat me, you've beaten the best. Man, it's almost going to hurt, Jack. After all you've done for me, stripping you of your glory? Well, if you're not up to it. No way, we're doing this. All right, calm down, old man. You're going to give yourself a bloody hernia. So the thing to do is just get behind him, get in his draft, push him off at the start. Like so. And that should set us up for the rest of this thing, I hope. Actually, if I remember correctly, this one wasn't actually too hard. Say so, no, I probably jinxed myself now. He's probably right on my chuff, isn't he? No, he's not. No, so yeah, this one wasn't too difficult. It was actually easy to stay in front of Campbell Jack Johnson. And, uh, yeah, just stay there and win the event. Oh no, here he comes. Spoke too soon. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> Bloody wrap up. I didn't know he got me back like that, but yeah, Jesus Christ, that made me jump. Gave me a piece of my own medicine. I deserve that. I truly did deserve that. Oh no, have I just screwed myself over? Yes, I have. Stay behind, stay behind. Go away. Go away, Mr. Door Salesman. I don't want any. No! Right on the line, you son of a bitch. Right, let's try again. Oh. Okay, second time's a charm then. And we've beaten the best of the best of the best. Good one, kid. I couldn't be happier. And I wasn't even going easy on you. You've done it. 
Ah, oh, lovely. Ah, right, that's another one done. So now we have. Ooh. Lovely. Ryan McCain. Hey, Ryan McCain. You must be very excited. Oh, I always get excited when I can smell victory. <laughs> okay. I smell bullshit. Valalunga, I like the circuit, so we should be okay. thing to do is just get past him at the start and then we should be all set for the rest of the single event. Like so. Yeah, this one isn't too hard. Ooh. Booger off. Hey, his bumper's back on again. That was actually falling off just now. I call shenanigans. Oh, these cars are awful. And not a problem at all. First time. If we can get past this last corner, that is. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, that one was really easy. He even struggled with the handling of the car as well. Well, I guess you can walk the walk like you told the talk, Ryan McCain. I guess I'll see you in a few seasons. My car is yours. My god is yours. Okay, thank you very much. And we have three to go. We have the Marcos, the Lancer, and something else. Let's have a look. We'll do the Marcos first. McCain, I hope you are prepared for defeat. I didn't come out here to lose. I hate racing unprepared opponents. Well, you're a bit up yourself, aren't you? Nope, that went totally wrong. He's already like 10 miles ahead, so we'll try again. What the hell? What in the hell? Seriously? No bloody way. Let's see if we can get him through here. No, just look how quick he takes the bloody corners. Jesus Christ, look on the little minimap how far ahead he is. That is stupid. Absolutely stupid. Bloody hell. Okay, we got the win. Nice. Right then. Two more to go. I am glad you came. I appreciate a good challenge. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. You look forward to defeat, okay, McCain? That did absolutely nothing. No, oh, here he comes.
they lost. Go away. Oh, you mother... Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, that one's done. Bloody hell. And final one day event to do. Mate? Hey! Long way to come to be humiliated. Oh, really? I thought you lived right around here. Let's see if you cast as quick as your mouth. Where do they get these voice actors from? They're bloody terrible. Alright, let's see if we can push him off at the very start. Okay, that didn't work at all. Just look at the acceleration though, it's absolutely stupid. I bet he goes right in this corner at full bloody speed as well. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Oh, bugger. Okay, we caught up a little bit of time there at least. Oh, he's having trouble as well. Haha, <laughs> get out of it. And here's the bumps and jumps that are uh, so utterly stupid. Oh, come on. Okay, I think we're doing okay. Time will tell when we get through here. Get on the straight. Okay, I think this one's alright. I think even the AI struggle on this circuit, so that's all good. And that'll be the final rival event. So then we have all the cars unlocked ready for the Elite Championships. Oh. I think I've just screwed myself. Come on. Go. Nope, we're okay. We're good, we're good. Cool. Right, so that is that done. Hooray! You really got lucky, huh? Well, I guess you win my car. You're welcome to it, mate. Must be something wrong with it anyway. Cheers. Awesome. And there we go. That is all the rival events done. Actually, didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to. I thought it was actually going to take a lot longer than that. But nope, that is 100% done on the rivals. So we'll get back out of there. And now we have the elite championship to do. Oh, but we'll do that next time. So I'll leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you for the elite championships. Take care.